everyone, it's Mandy V. And for the first time in a while, I'm bringing you a Tuesday tip. This week's tip is for artists considering signing with a label. Having studied entertainment law and working with record labels as clients, I can tell you just a few key factors that labels look at when considering whether or not to sign an artist. What is your genre? What's the key demographic for that genre? Are you establishing your brand to appeal to that market? These are all questions you need to ask yourself and factors a label will consider before deciding whether or not they should sign you. For instance, if you are a rap artist whose target market is black males between the ages of 18 to 34, but that audience is not engaging with you, that's a sign that you are not marketing your brand correctly. Furthermore, it may mean that you need to go back and revamp your brand. If the people you are trying to reach are not drawn into your message, the record labels will not be interested in working with you. They're just not in the business of building your brand. When you post content, are people commenting? Do they like your posts? Are they responsive to questions you pose? Are they sharing your material? These are all examples of an engaged audience. To a record label, it translates that people are paying attention to you. They are ready to stream your music. They are ready to talk about your music to their friends. They are ready to purchase your music. And a record label, as I said, is in the business of making money. Streaming numbers are vital because it gives the record label an idea how many people are already interested in your music. If your streaming numbers are high, the record label knows it doesn't have to invest much into marketing and publicity because you've built an audience that knows you, that likes you, and wants to hear your music. There's no magic number, but as an unsigned artist, you should aim for roughly 220,000 streams a month, which equates to minimum wage. Are you following as much or more than the number of people following you? If so, that is a poor follower following ratio. It indicates to the record label that if not for you following others, no one would be interested in the content you are providing. In layman's terms, it means your content quality is so poor that your follow back rates are low. High views obviously mean lots of people are watching your content. It means you are drawing the attention of a large audience. And this obviously is attractive. It's an attractive selling point for record labels because it falls in line with the points I've already discussed. Just like social media engagement, streaming numbers, and the follower to following ratio, it shows that people are tuned in. It shows that you as the artist have put in the necessary work to build a strong following of interested people. The packaging is already completed. They only need to work on the product, which is your music. If you are engaging your audience and you have high streaming and YouTube views, naturally the result is that you're producing viral content. Without large numbers of streams and views, the content wouldn't be viral, right? Going viral is like the spreading of the news by word of mouth. People who are drawn into your content for whatever reason share your content with the people they know and some of those people like the content and they share with their followers who are following them because they like their content, right? Consistently going viral makes you a household name and at that point, the record label will practically be begging you to sign with them. Work on producing high quality content in line with your brand and that attracts your target market and you can make yourself marketable to record labels. This is Mandy V and I hope you enjoyed this week's Tuesday tip.